Hello guys, I'm Chris Bowden, and you're not. Welcome to what is, I believe, my first ever unboxing video. I'm sure there'll be more of these, but let's get into this one. Um, I ordered a Gerber center drive, and it came today. And I know there's a lot of people who tend to like unboxing videos. Not really my thing, but hey, if you're into that, let's check it out. I am huge into EDC, and those of us that have EDC tend to take this kind of stuff seriously. So it comes with this USA UK Caution Cut Pinch Hazard fucking dot. Alright, and uh, that's Gerber's address. Fisker's. What is it? It's probably a warranty card or something dumb. Nobody cares. Nobody reads these. Limited lifetime warranty in North America. Cool. All right. Well, that's handy. So this is what's in the box. You get a thing of bits. Which is sealed on all sides. Hey, it comes with a knife to open the bits. That's handy. The holster's pretty decent. It's got a side thing in here. So you can attach that to Molly. You can attach it to a belt. I like that. This is sexy. So I don't I don't have enough reach on camera to swing it, but it works first time. And there's a million videos out there that show the basic outline of this. It's got the replaceable cutters. These are known to suck if you try to like there's people like, I'm gonna cut a nail with this. Now you're, I, who does that in real life? I'm gonna cut wire with this. I'm gonna cut soft copper wire and it's fine for that, and it's got three edges, and that's cool. Um, decent pair of pliers. These are really awesome if you're taking down lighting rigging. Um, and on the end, this rather square, it, it's kind of a duckbill shape, I guess. Um, the, on the end, these are, because they're kind of square, this is really good for reaming a piece of EMT conduit. Fit and finish is awesome. I love that it has the tools I need the most right where I need them the most. It's got the knife out the side, which is reasonably sharp. Reasonably, meaning you could ride to Buffalo on that blade. But for what you're going to do with this, it's fine. Like, you're not doing fine woodworking with it. And then the center drive, which, yes. I have needed this twice today and have been fighting the urge to just wait until I could shoot an unboxing video and thank my patrons and everybody for helping out on this. But yeah, I love that it takes quarter inch bits. That is super cool. And they give you a pile of quarter inch bits, a whole magazine full of them. And these are some Gua Long Ding Dong Yum Cha low quality bits, but as you trash them, you can replace them with, you know, better ones from I don't know, DeWalt or Milwaukee or whatever whatever color team you're on. And any of the usual stubby versions. The big the big impact drive ones with the extra length, they'll fit in here, but they're gonna hang out a long ways. But yeah. So we've got number two Phillips in it, number one Phillips here, number three Phillips, the two different square drives, a couple torques, tiny straight, medium straight, big straight. And then we get three different hex drives. So that's cool. The torques aren't the security torques, but nobody cares. So, yeah. It's basic. It's it's solid. It's everything you want it to be. Like, it's not too heavy. It's not too big. It's not too small. I like it. I've heard tell that that's a wood file. And that's a metal file, but really it's a file. And who files wood? Who does that? Do you file wood? So this you pull back to unlock. And it gives us a uh, circumcision tool there. The world's worst nail puller. Like, I can see it as like a little pry bar. This is better than trying to use the standard straight blade screwdriver that comes with every Gerber as a pry bar. Um, the downside is it's got this ridge back here on the back side. 
and that really negates its usefulness as a pry bar. If you want a Gerber pry bar, good luck finding one today, but the Gerber Artifact, awesome little pocket pry bar. Like, I have used this thing for years. They're hard to find. Um, they have a different one out there. I think it's called the Shard or something like that. These are hard to find. And it uses X-Acto blades. And, oh, my God, is this thing useful. If you, uh, if you can find one of these, buy it. They're cheap, and this, is, this has been a part of my EDC for a long time now. I think I have a couple of these, and I just keep an eye out for them. Every now and then you see them at Target, of all places. Um, they're really hard to find online, though. So if you find one, get it. But we have this pry bar in here, and such as it is, it's better than nothing if it's what you've got. And then we have a serrated blade. This one's actually sharper than this blade. Yeah, noticeably. Which is good, because this is a pain in the ass to try and sharpen. That's pretty much the whole thing. Oh, we've got a holder in here for one other blade, which is a straight blade. I don't understand what this is for. I'm guessing that's just to be able to pull this out. Hmm. Good, simple Gerber. I like it. This is, this is my new EDC. And to give you an idea how long it's been since I've upgraded my Gerber, that's my old one, and it's what I've been carrying around for a while now, and this has considerable mileage on it. Still works, though. I got no complaints. So, yeah, this, uh, begin this is my unboxing video for this and begins the review process. We'll check in on this in a month and see what I think and we'll check in on it after that but yeah here's a quick look at the Gerber center drive I'm probably not using the holster because I have a bigger holster but I like that this holster has the pocket for that that's really well done it fits well fit and finish is top notch on this I like it not bad. Yeah. What do you think? Comment below. Let me know what you think. And what do you carry as your EDC multi-tool? Have fun, guys!